welcome back to another Chris the Fish 03 video. These sagas are going pretty good. We've got two left to do. As you can tell, I'm doing them all in one go, hence why I'm in the same shirt throughout the lot. I am genuinely not a tramp. I do change my shirt. But this one is going to be on the Texas Fry. And then the next one will be three tanks in one. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a new video. And now, I'll crack on with it. Alright, so this one is what used to be the shrimp tank. Now straight away you can see this beautiful electric blue Jack Dempsey. Absolutely stunning. He was given to me for free as well because they obviously wanted him rehomed and survived. A lot of the fish I have are given to me like all of the other fish in this tank. I've got 10 Texas cichlids in here. So you can see all of these here if the camera can get the right focus on them. But then you've also got two green terra cichlids as well. These guys have got a double and a single sponge filter running in there and it's running at about 26 27 degrees the electric blue is starting to show some balls now because he's starting to get annoyed with the fry but this is the only tank i've got with real greenery in it even though some of it doesn't look quite so green but this is the only tank i've got with real plants in now obviously we've got the bogwood I don't ask me what the names are of the plants because I haven't got a clue. A lot of it I've been given as cut-offs. But as I say, these fry I've had since they were microscopic and they are doing absolutely fantastic. A couple of them are over an inch already. They're growing proper nice. But you can see some colours. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But you can see some colours starting to shine through already. It's got... A fluval aqua sky light on it which is all hooked up via bluetooth and it is on a 12 hour not a morning to night routine so it's starting to look a bit dull now because it's what about eight o'clock on the evening but in the meantime these guys are doing really really well they're feeding fantastic and I'm feeding them probably two to three times a day just to make sure I can get that growth on them so hopefully they'll keep growing Obviously, I've got to keep that JD where he's the boss and not the bullied because they are so goddamn fragile and he will end up just getting killed off. And I'd like to have one that actually survives, believe it or not. So this tank's about two and a half foot wide. It's about a foot and a half deep and about 19 to 20 inches high. Works out to about 80 to 100 litres. Plenty of space for all these fry to grow before I can move them onto their other tanks. So if you haven't noticed already, a lot of these videos are just nice, straight to the point, short, sweet videos. So yeah, that's it for what saga number seven. So I'm going to leave it at that, and then the next one will be the last one, but it will have three tanks in one just to finish it off. So again, thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe. Hit the bell and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.